always talking about record button on this yes, one. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so we're always talking about video game adaptions on this show. It seems like there's a never ending amount of content to get into, whether it's a Halo show that we're talking about the last of us today. Well, Amazon just announced uh, a Tomb Raider live action adaption. And if you didn't know, Amazon is also publishing the next Tomb Raider game. They bought the rights mm-hmm. to that. Crystal Dynamics develops. They're publishing the next game. They announced they're making a live action television series. And um, they all. also they also announced that they want to create a cinematic universe between all of the things, between all the mediums, like all the Tomb Raider stuff, you mean? Yeah, uh, between what they're doing with the new Tomb Raider. Mm. So they're it is a full Tomb Raider reboot, y'all. Um, yeah. As far as I could, as far as what's been a reboot analyzed. to the reboot. Yeah, the reboot, reboot, reboot. Um, um, they want to make. They also want to make movies that are tie-ins to the show and the game. Z- so, what do you think about that? <laughs> I'm so tired of it, man. Like, Me too. Jesus Christ. <laughs> when I, I will it I've, end? I think I've said this before. Like, when did Laura Croft become a compelling character? Like, she was, she was like a blank slate protagonist when she was first introduced. That, let's be honest. I mean, all the gamer teenagers at that time idolized if we not can, because of the emotional narrative arc of the game if we can somehow get a tomb raider no way home version of this and they bring back angelina jolie i won't have any complaints <laughs> man dude year old angelina five year, jolie star. five year old old me and that angelina jolie side boo bro oh man <laughs> who, we were we were homies will, who do you think will I mean, I don't think there's. I haven't seen any speculation. They'll probably honestly cast like a. I, I would if I were them. Somebody who's not known. I mean, I yeah. would if I were them. That's what they uh, did with the with the last movie, didn't they? No, they had somebody, but like, I don't not know. Chris Pratt level. And I use Chris Pratt because yeah, it's why the don't joke. you just cast, cast Chris Pratt? Chris That'd Pratt. Be great. I think that role fits him well. It actually does. Sadly, if he was a female, it's like the exact role that he plays in movies. Like, he's gonna jump off of some things and grunt and shoot some things and roll and oh i know who it should be it should be winona ryder 60 year old winona ryder is, <laughs> as laura croft i wouldn't say no to an anne hathaway laura croft actually i think 60 year old anne hathaway she's not that old she's like maybe 50 <laughs> um but i just i've never i gotta be honest i've never understood again i think we talked about this like Maybe like last episode or the episode before, like the 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 first like reboot game that was originally Xbox exclusive, I believe. Yeah. Xbox and PC, like that game was good. It was like Uncharted level action adventure, super polished. Yeah. But after that, I was like, I was the second game wasn't in this. too bad. I, I think, think the they're second bad game games. Was- yeah, I just don't. But really no, no, it definitely appeal. fell off differently. I, I'm with you. Like the first one, I was like, hell yeah, great game. I went 100 percent of it all the way through. Game two came out and I said, this is good. But what is what is Same. not the good part about this game? And there's there's so much there. that I, I can't cherry pick it. And I have to cherry pick something to find out what it is. Yeah. It's bothering me because something is bothering me about the second game that I didn't like as much as the first game. I I can't. I tried to. I was watching a trailer. Um, uh, which he just had Florence Pooh as. Uh, as uh, Laura Croft. But um, I miss Flo. Uh, y- as a y'all, both of y'all just have names that are just like alien. Uh, that <laughs> Olivia Wilde called her Miss Flo in that video that backfired on her really bad. Um, the Shia LaBeouf, Shia one, <laughs> but never mind that. Um, Autumn Falls. No, not <laughs> oh god, here we go again. Uh, oh jeez, I you, you know, I'd watch that one. <laughs> I can't copy paste. Probably from have Edge. watched that one. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't know okay, if I've seen over, it. Right? This video's <laughs> over. This discussion's over. I don't know where to go with this from here. Oh, that's why my key. Oh, I was on watching on. a stupid. trailer for one of the more recent Tomb Raider games, and there was like this witch doctor who was like doing magic and making like this blood sacrifice, and Laura Croft is like drowning underwater. And I was just like, "What the hell even is this?" Like, I don't. I guess I don't know how we got here with, with Tomb Raider, and I, I'm wondering. I mean. I guess it's one of those things that it kind of is a blank slate, right? I mean, if to do a show, they can basically do whatever they want uh, with Laura Croft and just call it a Tomb Raider show. 
You know, like there's no like we have to tell this story or that story. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's a pretty safe bet. Um, if you had to predict the quality of this show when it launches on Amazon, <laughs> what would you? Where what would you give it? Too early. It's too early to tell. I can't give anything. But oh, knowing I don't think it's, it's too early to tell at all. I, oh, <laughs> I don't God, even man. Do a I mean, after, after Lord of the Rings, It'll man, be somewhere between Resident Evil, Netflix, and Halo Paramount. <laughs> You know, I don't think it really matters too much about the lore accuracy of Laura Croft, right? That's what I'm saying. Like it, it doesn't do matter too want. much. You can do whatever you want with it. What is... Is it going to be a Tomb Raider show? Probably not. If there's not a single dinosaur in that fucking show, I'm not watching but it. But what even is a Tomb Raider show? That's the thing. Like, I almost feel like, in some regards, they can't screw it up. You know what I mean? Because there's not like a definitive storyline or character that they really need to nail they need to have a tough woman climbing stuff and shooting people and surviving you know like get yeah. that you're you're good like you've 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 nailed the basics at least i just after after how amazon handled lord of the rings i don't have hope i don't have hope for this <laughs> so i will say that on a metacritic score It'll probably be like 60, 65. I'll go straight in the middle. Go, I was going to go 42. I think it'll be 65. I think that they will do everything in their power to just make this an accessible series, everybody. And it'll be a family friendly TV show. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's it. I can't say any more about this. I, I, <laughs> I'm over I wish, it. Man. I wish Tomb Raider would go away. Uh, along with. I wish Amazon would too. <laughs> just That's stick with deliver the boys they got invincible they got some good stuff they got stuff that's not theirs though sure yeah well that yes <laughs> i would say 